In this video, I'm going to show you Bolt's brand new prompt library feature. Writing prompts is hard enough as it is, so the prompt library will allow you not to only store prompts that you want to favorite and use in the future, but use a menu and an already preset library of prompts to do everything from implement dark mode into your app to implementing accessibility features that you absolutely need to have. So if you log into Bolt, you'll now see a new feature right here to the right of the prompt generator. And when you click on it, you can do one of two things. You can go and actually store and create your own prompt to store in the prompt library right here, where you would select some category, let's say performance, and you call it something like improve speed load page. And then you'd write whatever prompt it is. So we can store a sample prompt here and say something like, Look at all the components behind the scenes in the back end and try to find ways to speed up the view and speed up the overall load time. So imagine that's a prompt that we want to be able to reuse and reuse in the future. We could click on create prompt and now we have it stored in the performance section of the library. And you can see right here under performance, we have the improve speed loads page where we hover over. You can see the underlying prompt that we just generated. And what you can do is if you tend to use it quite a few times, you can click on this star add favorite button. And then at the very top, you can see it's favorited. So it's an easy access to the easiest prompts you need to do what you need to do. And if you scroll through the preset library of existing prompts, you have everything from prompts to improve accessibility, to SEO, to overall usability of your app or website that you put together, as well as, like I said before, implementing dark mode, adding error handling, and even creating a web app manifest generator. To see a few of these prompts in action from the prompt library, I'm just gonna generate a sample app so we can see the different versions of these different prompts. So here I have a prompt where I said, I'm an independent fitness coach seeking a sleek, client-focused progress tracking app that functions like a digital coaching assistant. And then I go on to explain what the design should look like, what the interaction should look like, more of a drag and drop interface. And the most important thing is we get something like this. And at the bottom left, we have the handy dandy prompt library right here, where we can click on it, scroll through, and let's say for the first iteration, let's add the dark mode implementation. So in this case, this will execute this prompt. And it says generate code for implementing a fully accessible dark mode toggle on my website. And then it continues on with some details here that you can fully change and iterate on should you wish to. But if we send it as is, I'll show you what the result would look like. And in just a few minutes, we now have a beautiful dark mode design done with that single shot prompt. And we can continue stacking more prompts to improve the accessibility of the view. So we can go to something like improving the overall navigation optimization. We can click on this and this says evaluate my website's navigation structure and generate recommendations for improvement based on UX best practices. And then it has some more detail here. So we can send this prompt and see what changes it suggests to make and actually makes. And after those changes, we now have a different navigation structure where we have this sidebar right here. If we actually open this up in full view, you'll see how clean and organized the interface looks. So we have the ability now to minimize it, look at the general screen, and still have full clarity on the left-hand side. Now, if you wanna use this feature on easy mode, you don't even have to click on this button. All you have to do is click on slash, and this will pull up all of those prompts, including the ones that you've saved. So if you have a series of prompts that, let's say you're creating a database and you're hooking up to something like Superbase and you always have similar types of functions or instructions you want to send over and over again, this is a very quick way to make your prompt engineering and more importantly, your vibe coding process as easy as possible.